We tend to think of classical music, when we think of it at all, as big city music. Oh, there may be a snatch or two of it in the country. But most often, classical music is something big city folks bust to the boondocks on warm summer nights. Cultural baggage, mostly left unclaimed. That's the image, and here, it is wrong. In this tiny village, far from Lincoln Center, live some of the finest classical singers in America. Oh, they don't make their living at it. Randy Leonard delivers packages. Tina Snell is a cook. Jane Short grows flowers. But listen to them sing Bach. All this would have seemed appropriate to Bach. He was himself an industrious small town musician. He never made much money. His second wife died a pauper. Music was simply the family trade. There had been 50 organists, town musicians, and singers named Bach. Big cities harvest so many of our great musicians, we begin to think they all live there. Yet music surrounds us, as natural as breath. Blanche Moise has, like Bach, made music her life. She toils over it, constantly, until it glistens. And for 36 years, she has been a musical Pied Piper in this part of the country. Mary Perry drives 300 miles, twice a week, to sing with her. Jerry Morgan came back after a heart transplant. Well, she needs tenors. <laughs> Her chorus is a true New England democracy. There are no solo voices. But together, most critics concede they may just be the best Bach singers in the world. Blanche conducts Bach from memory. She learns it listening to the score on her Walkman while hiking the back roads near her home. She came to Brattleboro from France after World War II and gave up a career as a concert violinist to teach Bach to her neighbors. We are going to work steadily for four weeks. Huh? They are not professionals. They start from scratch. And because they had to go from bad to good, from good to better, then they don't see any reason to stop. Blanche Moise teaches folks to do more than they thought they could. There is no better definition of love. So you can do it, huh? I know you can do it.